Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Stanislav of Rus. We are the wonderful, wonderful Putin dynasty. Uh, our name is because our father named us without the player involved. The player was not around to name to name this baby uh, because our father was in a separate kingdom when he had the child. So unfortunately, uh, we are not named Vladimir. We are also not named not Vladimir. Uh, we can give ourselves some chops, uh, but that's about it. Man, these beards, these, these look like Norse haircuts. Maybe it just has to do with our capital being Novgorod. I don't know. But these look like Norse haircuts. There you go. Enjoy it. We'll tone it down a bit. You know, our wife, she likes us and she's a genius and everything, but she ain't, you know, making no babies. She ain't making no babies, no babies. All right, so we finished up some wars. We took Burlad, Kiev, and Novgorod. There's two more holy sites to take over here in Plok and Rana. So we definitely want to go take all that junk. It's too bad they won't, you know, just vassalize. He's like, nah. Why not? Why, why don't you want to vassalize? He's like, nah. 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 You know, power plus five. Opinion plus one. Uh, but then he's at negative seven, negative nine because of other stuff. Base reluctance and all that junk. So silly. We should really just go eat these guys. Just eat them. Got a claim on you? Nope. I ain't got no claim on these guys because they're Slavic. We do have a claim on these guys, though. Why? Ah, because my diviner has a claim on that duchy. But she's unlanded, so if I did that, I think she would be not in my realm. I could land her. Not sure if I want to. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look. Who else do we have claims on? Well, nobody really. Everybody. Nobody really, but everybody, right? So we could go after Pereyaslavl. Uh, he's got no good allies. Uh, yeah, and f yeah, that's that's probably fine. How many troops you got, bro? 1,300, A, eh? A. Eh? Let's go in there, clay one of those provinces. Why not? Because he won't peacefully vassalize. He should. You know, being Russian Slavic, you'd think he would, but no. No, he won't. He's just a total douchebag. Uh, even though that's in our de jure duchy of, I mean, our de jure kingdom of Ruthenia, he still won't vassalize. He's just a total jerk off. All right, so let's continue on. And uh, we just declared war on Yaroslavl, because why not? We'll go take his land. We'll go take your land. You don't need that land, Yaroslavl. I need that land. It's my land. This land ain't your land. This land is my land. Stuff like that. What the fuck? Oh, he called in some morons. Kakish Saimi. All right, fine. We'll meet up right here. There you go. Slaughter this bitch. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Bro? You're not Slavic. You don't get the bonus for defensive. Come on, then. He's just standing there. He's just standing there. He's like, oh, well. Oh, now he's going to run. Yeah, you're going down. You shouldn't have joined this war, you son of a bitch. Kostroma has converted. Where the fuck is Kostroma? I don't know why there is no go-to button for that stuff. Kostroma. I think it's over here somewhere. No, that's Kolomna. Shit. I remember there being a K-O and ending in A over here. Where is Kostroma? Uh, yeah, we could type it in. Typing it in would be much faster. But, you know, they don't have the fun of exploring, right? Kostroma. There it is. So we have Kolomna and Kostroma, and they're both in the same area. All right, good, Slavic Kostroma, I like it. I approve of this. And yeah, those Finns got fucking wrecked. First day on the job, Finns. The, the entire army got wrecked. <laughs> Love it. 
<gasps> Yay! Okay, I now we're gonna rub our hands together. And we're gonna make a genius baby. Let's do it. You and me. You got the King of Denmark to like us. You know what? I'm gonna change you to fabricate claims. Uh, go for Rana. Make it happen. Hey, the guy won't vassalize. That's his problem, right? Shit. I don't want to vassalize. Wah. Wah. Ain't got time for that shit. Need to make little baby Vladimirs. Oh, yeah. Our faith is getting pretty good. Our uh, moral authority, I mean. Not our faith. Moral authority is getting pretty good. Oh, don't run away. Come on, I have so much to offer you. I have so much to give. I brought cookies. Come on, don't you want my cookies? Don't you want my cookies, bitch? Oh, God. He gave me his cookies. So we'll have to siege one province, and then we'll, we'll, we'll finish. Uh, you want me to... No. Dude, that's like the fifth time you tried to ransom that, that girl to me. I don't want her, okay? I don't want her. She's not important to me. I don't want her. Go away. A daughter. And she's not even special. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna call her ordinary. Princess Ordinary. Yep. Uh-oh. Bohemian Tangri fabricating a plot, you say? Time to revoke a title. Now nah, we gotta imprison him first. Okay, so where is he located? He is leading troops in Yaroslavl. Well, shit. Can I kick him out of the army? Let's kick him out of the army. Uh, resign. Resign. Let's get rid of all these idiots. There you go. Perfect. Stay there. Now he is reigning in Perimimishil. Bingo. Found you, you little dipshit. Chance to arrest. 77. There we go. Revoke that title. But we can't because he didn't revolt. He has to revolt for you to actually be able to ro revoke the damn thing. So just ransom him out for 70 bucks. And that does uh, get rid of his plot, I think. I think. Reigning in Viken. Oh, this guy's plotting as well. And we can uh, try to imprison him. We will fail. Yeah. All right, we failed. Good. So where is this happening? No? Did we fail? I'm confused. What is going on? There we go. It says he was fleeing to the court of someone else, but then he never actually made it to the court of someone else. So, there's that. <laughs> Whatever that is. What the fuck was up with that? And I can't revoke his title. Because he's, uh, he's not my vassal. He's the vassal of uh, someone else. 70 gold to ransom him. There you go. That was awkward. Oh, that's awesome. We're just getting 70 gold again and again and again for for imprisoning these counts who are vassals of our vassals. And they're paying me money to get them back out again. Okay. I'm not sure if that's working the way it should. You know what I mean? Princess of Ruthenia. All right, who else is over here? Well, you're over here. Oh, the Pechenegs, they can't come in to help. Yes, they can. Grodno has converted to Slavic, nice. Latgali has converted to Slavic, nice. Yeah, vassals are really good at converting 
provinces to the faith. Whereas I'm... The player just seems to have a lot of trouble converting. I, I have seriously not converted a single province since the start of the game. We tried for years, I mean years and years and years, to convert Pskov. It never converted. Ever. Just like, nah. Wouldn't do it. Oh, someone left. Spymaster. Alright, well, we got a... Uh, Russian Slav. He wants to be a marshal, though. We'll take this guy. And scheme in the capital, please. Thank you. Oh, well, they've raised an army again. Wonder where they got the fresh recruits from. Don't know. You're fabricating plots, are you? Okay. Ransom him back for 70 gold. Fantastic. That's so funny. Thanks for the money, Pops. Uh, it's, that's that's too funny. All right, this should be 100%. Uh, Kiev! Ah, Kiev has converted. Oh, my God. I was just complaining. It, uh, what episode is this? I need, I need to know. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Episode 14, we finally converted our first province. It took 14 episodes to convert a province. Wow. Kiev has converted to Slavic. Uh, this guy, though, remains Tengri, so I think I'm going to leave my, my converter there, trying to convert uh, everybody to, to uh, Slavic. There we go. All right, Yaroslavl, you're done. GTFO, Yaroslavl, are you still my vassal? No, I took over everything in that county. Okay, well, let's give out some stuff. Don't need it. Don't need it. And, uh, who was that guy? You. No, he's finished, Sumanusko. We'll find a Russian Slav to do it. Russian Slav, Russian Slav, bum ba bum Russian Slav. He's ambitious, I don't think so. Russian Slav, he's an imbecile. Nope. Ambitious with the hair lip. My god. A another ambitious? At least I know why they I haven't given these guys anything before. It's because they're all fucking ambitious or otherwise broken. Heir to the county of Turabobo. Well, if you're an heir, then I don't want you in this list. Russian Slav. Alright, you'll do. Yaroslav. Done and done. Excellent. We have four kingdoms and only one duchy under our control. Okay, why not? <gasps> no allies! See, that's what I like to see. This motherfucker has no allies. Well then, how about we go for conquest of... Which which province is better, Riazan or Miram? They are actually both pretty good. We'll go for Miram. Get in my belly. How goes the claim progress over here? 15% uh, chance per year. Not the quickest, is it? No. Oh, 23. Yeah. 23. Give me that claim, baby. That should be a little faster. 19.4%. Uh, yeah, that's quicker. Good. I like how this guy has no, <laughs> no allies. Last time I checked, he had allies. And now he doesn't. It's like, okay. Do you still have allies? Yeah, this guy still has allies. Okay. Uh, Calevan has converted. Nice. Sup, bro? Bra? Bro? Broheim? Brofist? Brosif? Bromance? We don't even have any generals, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't. We lost 29 soldiers. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What are you doing? Conquest of Pereyaslavl. Jarl of Vitebsk. The Jarl of Vitebsk. That's my brother, isn't it? No, that's a different guy. Vitebsk is over here. Jarl of Vitebsk. Well, who the fuck is the Jarl of Vitebsk? I don't even know. I don't even know. 
Oh, there's no plots right now. Wow. Yeah, it looks like uh, this is going to change hands. I guess it's okay. Caught some girl. Not my prisoner. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Well, he's raised a small army. I think these are mercenaries. No, army of the mayor. Army of Mayor Stanislav. So it's not Mercs. He's doing something. Oh, what's this? Steward Chief Volodar wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying their taxes. Uh, get some taxes and revolt risk, or tell him no. You know what? You got it. Go ahead. I don't care. Peasant revolt, not the end of the world. Trakai has converted. Oh, man. Look at Slavic go. There's still some nasty stuff, but we're getting there. We're getting there, damn it. My sister has come of age. All right, so we're just waiting on this little brat to get of, get of age. He's got a claim on the Duchy of Greater Poland. Okay. Oh, there's your peasant revolt. Bello Ozero. Okay. Plot from some idiot. Imprison some idiot. Ransom some idiot for 70 gold. Hooray! <laughs> that mechanic is so broken. I've never noticed that before, but that is incredibly broken. Oh, my vassals are conquering this guy. My vassals are taking him out. That's fantastic. I don't even have to do the work. The Yams Vikings. Ooh. A band of fierce Vikings have established a warrior brotherhood in Stettin along the Baltic coast. I own Stettin, don't I? Yes, I do. Based in a castle known as Jomsburg. Is there a castle here? Yes, there is. The Barony of Jomsburg. The Joms Vikings. Titular title. No deserve vassals. You have... 540 troops. And I can't declare war on him. I can try to vassal him. He says no. Interesting. Though there are those who would dismiss them as simple brigands, the Jomsvikings have vowed to defend all Norse lands being entrenched by Christendom or other foreign religions. Interesting. Uh, you would think, since we own Stetten, that we would have some type of control over the Jomsvikings. Or, or maybe we could decide whether or not they actually... Uh, take anything. But, uh, no. We have no control at all. That's interesting. Okay. Apparently we're paying someone to improve our martial skill. Okay. Fine by me. I am not, you know so insecure with myself that I won't pay to improve myself? Of course I will. Your training continues. Hey! We've finished our ambition to uh, improve our martial skill. And this guy of Chernigov. 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 This guy. Yes, him. Uh, he's trying to fabricate claims on shit. Uh, we need him to revolt. So, please revolt. There we go. Now, once we finish... Wow, he has one province. Once we're finished with him, we can imprison him and take his titles back. Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. I mean, we're not done yet, but that's nice. 
it's a start. And I'm gonna pick up this guy and drop him again. I want him to get that stupid claim. He's being lazy over there. Gain Marshall. Nice. We're still gaining more Marshall. That's fantastic. You surrender yet? Nope. Alright, we'll finish the siege. Then we'll go kill these guys, siege them out, then we'll take care of the peasants. Gain two marshal and 15 prestige. Whoa! That was amazing. Flatter and sue them. Oh, look at that! Wow! Our martial skill improved dramatically. Uh, let's, uh, let's focus on having a baby boy. Come on, wife. Give me a baby boy. A bouncing baby boy. And the rebels stopped sieging, even though they were almost done. Why did they do that? Does anyone know why these rebels just stopped sieging Belo Ozero? They were almost done. And they're like, eh, let's go somewhere else. I saw that earlier in the war against, I think it was the war against Sweden. It's just, no, they just, they picked up and went somewhere else. They're like, fuck it. Oh, it's because they're getting attacked. I see. No, I don't want that girl. Kill her for all I care. Stop offering her to me. A petty wench is throwing herself at your feet. Yay! We took Miram. It's like if I hit the button properly. There we go. All right, let's give that shit out. I said, give that shit out. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, who wants the county? Let's find a suitable man for the county. I don't think we have any suitable men for the county. In fact, everything we own, or every person in our court is just pretty bad at everything. This guy will do, though. Russian Slavic, you got it. You're on, baby. Kill them, and then go take their town. Yeah, Belo Ozero is killing the rebels for me, so I don't have to do it. That's, that's fantastic. That's why they picked up and moved. Makes sense, I guess. Uh-oh. Steward Chief Volodar probably didn't think I'd notice a few coins going missing. Oh, you son of a bitch. Seriously? He's greedy. That's why. Okay. Question him. Chief Odar declared that he was innocent. Further investigation revealed that the cook responsible for the purchase of foodstuff had forgotten to account for the extra eggs he bought. Really? All this came down to extra eggs? Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. Normally, you can tell if someone's stealing because you'll hear little money sounds. Seriously, it makes little money sounds when people steal from you. Like if you ever have a regent, like if you're a child ruler, you have a regent, uh, you'll hear little money sounds sometimes when your regent steals from you. <laughs> They're good at it. Yes, he's killing the rebels for me, so I don't have to do it. That's perfect. You're the best. Man, these vassals. She's not even my religion. Uh, no matter. Oh, why, why you, why you no get claim? Get claim. Please get claim. I asked nicely. Get claim. Yeah, those rebels are getting slaughtered. Nice. Very nice. Guy still won't vassalize. Wrong choice, motherfucker. Oh, Denmark took over this county? Are you kidding me? Nope. Not even joking. Wow. Holy shit, Denmark is married to the Queen of Bohemia. I never noticed that. Wow. Yeah, and they have the same air. Yeah, okay. So Denmark and Bohemia are going to be one entity. Unless we get in there and break them up somehow. So we should probably get in there and break them up before they become too strong. God damn it, Denmark and Bohemia. Sons of bitches. Oh, fuck. How many troops you got, dude? 
Five thousand. What about Bohemia? Two thousand two hundred. I mean, it's not that bad, but still, that's awful. Bribe and vassalize? I don't think bribe and vassalize is going to work. It's not a matter of does he like us or not. It's a matter of uh, he doesn't want to. We're at negative nine versus our positive six. Bribing will never get you enough to overcome negative nine. All right, there we go. Goodbye, Chernigov. Revoke your title. No county for you. Excellent. And let's give that away. Get me a noble. Oh. Oh, shit, he's ambitious. But whatever, I don't care. You can have Roslavl. Enjoy. Now, this is in the de jure uh, Smolensk. Right, so I have to transfer it to him. Bingo. There we go. Oh, wow. Great. Uh, and those rebels are pretty much done. Now, should we go after Rostov? We should, but he has the Pechenegs on, at his back. And I'm not sure if I want to deal with the Pechenegs. That's uh, 5,400 troops. Ugh. Brutal. Brutal. Still have truce down there. Ah, we can claim these. Uh, we can claim the Duchy of Wallachia for our vassal. But he's not our vassal. He's unlanded. He's not an heir to. Oh no, he is an heir to the county of Terrabobble. Well, maybe once he takes over Terrabobble. Then we can press his claim, but not before then. Not before then. Hmm. Perm and Biarmia. Veps. Samoyeds and Kakasimi. I just pieced out him, so it's probably fine. But none of these counties are worth owning. I mean, we do have to take them all over at some point. But wow, are they, they're just garbage counties. Uh, Veps. Yeah, okay. How many troops you got? A thousand. All right. We'll declare for Veliki Ostyog. All right. Go get me a Veliki Ostyog. <laughs> Oh, my daughter. Let's see. Ordinary is not satisfied and keeps asking for more toys to play with. Let her have them. She can get greedy, diligent, or trusting. 60% chance for diligence. 70% chance for greedy. Yeah, let's try for the 60% diligent. She got it. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. And why are you not converting? Come on, convert these people. Convert this guy, and this guy, and this guy. Come on, convert them. Do it. What is taking you so long? Convert them. Uh, you know what, let me pick you up. Put you down in Pskov again, because Pskov still has not converted. <laughs> All right, Veps has come in, but whatever. Veps ain't going to do shit. Aria, Veps. Aria. My wife's Svajoni. Oh, that's her name. My wife Svajoni. Yeah. Has complained about being about me being absent. That's why I found she had or oh, I found I had some extra gold to spend. I decided to buy her something nice, maybe some sort of jewelry. Uh bracelet, a cameo, ruby earrings. Falls in love. Hmm. 
I think I'll just keep the gold. Wow, that's... Are we greedy? No, we're not greedy, but we're also not kind. Hmm. I don't know. She's chased. Let's go for the, the best one possible. Let's see if we can get her to stop being chased. That's not going to happen. Lustful. Uh-oh. Of course allow the duel. I allow all duels. Why would you not allow duels? Duels are awesome. Duels are badass. God, these rebels are still not dead. An intriguer named Pelagios appears at the court. What the hell is an intriguer? Pelagios. 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 What? Really? You call that an intriguer? That's terrible. Look, he's castrated and everything. You cut his nuts off and he's terrible at everything. Why would you do that to someone? He's not even any good at it. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to pick up our Chancellor and move him again because he's not getting anything done. Chancellor. Go get Plock. Lazy son of a bitch. Yeah, all these provinces only have one holding. Skolovia has converted to Catholic. Nice. Or not Catholic. Uh, Slavic. But yeah, all these provinces only have one holding. So they're pretty easy to take out. <laughs> no, I don't want her. Go away. I don't want her. Just kill her. I don't want her, okay? What is all this crap? Third Cherson Holy War for Crimea, de jure war for Atreyu. Uh huh. Uh huh. Whatever. And we have some girl in prison. Just sell her. I'm all about selling prisoners. Make the money. Make the money. Rus. Poor hungry. They were looking so scary when they owned Hungary and Ruthenia. They looked amazing. But now they look terrible. This guy... This guy is plotting. Son of a bitch. No, no he's not. This guy is plotting. I don't think anyone cares about this guy. Nobody cares. Don't tell me about plots if no one cares. Seriously, no one, no one gives a crap. Not even a little crap. Oh, the army had a revolt. I see that. Yep. They're going around me. Okay. As soon as they land here, I'm just going to attack them. No one cares. No one cares. 10th of November. Yeah, it takes up more than a month to walk back and forth here. Hey, my vassal. Make a move. It's not appropriate. Gain piety. Yay, we got more piety. Alright, take him out. This should get us enough war score to peace out, I hope. Don't run away. I, I bring hugs and cookies. Cookies from Russia. They're the best. <laughs> oh, we don't have any generals. That's kind of a problem. Ah, we got it. Didn't matter. 100%. Thank you. Yay! Free county. Uh, okay. Back to the capital. Ah, kill the rebels. And let's give this out to whomever. God, these people are terrible. Greek. This guy... Oh, that's right. This is the eunuch. 
And he can never he can never own anything because he can't have babies. He can never pass it on, right? There's an imbecile. You know what? Let's let's give the imbecile a chance. Maybe he'll have some decent kids. You know who knows? Who the fuck knows, right? Veliki Ustyug to the imbecile. He's like, yay! Ah, ah. Here, go get married. Some courtier. Marry her. Ha, ha. Awesome. Uh, we got a prisoner. Oh, the peasants. Right. Uh, well, he never got any money, so just kill him. Alright, we're at peace. Oh man, peace for the first time in I don't know how long. And we can imprison someone? No, we can't because she was already asked to stop. Darn it. Alright, let's do some, uh, let's do a Yarillo festival. March. Seriously, this is the first Yarillo festival we're going to do. Wow. April. And May. Yay! Invitations have gone out to all your vassals, asking them to join you in celebration of Yorillo, or Jarillo, or whatever it is. You have decided to make this festival year a special one, uh, remembered by both gods and men for years to come. There's going to be a lot of people who say no. Declined, 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 declined. These are all the people who are not Slavic. As the celebration winds down outside, you and your vassals gather for the great feast you have ordered. Yay! <laughs> Someone vomited or something. Oh, yep, Bohemia and Denmark have merged into one nation. Both of them died. Period of illness, March of this year, and November last year, poor health. Wow, they died just a few months apart. Well then, we should, yes, improve relations for one year. Good. We get 100 piety and 100 prestige. Nice. We only need 200 more piety and we can reform the faith. Still need to convert. We need to convert both these guys. God damn it. Hurry up with the conversions. Jesus. Look, it's, it's not that hard. You proselytize like this. Convert. <laughs> Uh, and give me the damn claims. God, you guys are terrible at getting me claims. So, Bohemia. How about it? <laughs> uh, can we go take your, your kingdoms? Both of them? <laughs> you want to marry someone? You want to betroth someone? A Putin, maybe? Yes. Yes, he does. Aww. <laughs> He won't do a matrilineal. Gee, I can't imagine why. We'll keep an eye on him. How old is he? He's 11, so yeah, five more years. Hmm. No, I think it's okay. I think we will... Uh, I think we will betroth them to our daughter. The problem is she's our heir right now, and I don't want to get stuck in a position where uh, we don't have a male heir. At least not without not without a matrilineal marriage, right? Like if we're going searching for matrilineal marriages, I'm sure we'll find something. Yeah. So there's a couple people. Well, there's one guy interested because he's already our dynasty. But there's I'm sure there's people out there who would matrilineal marry. But let's at least get our wife preggers for a change. You know, preggers. Preggers. And yeah, the Shia... The Shia did get a kingdom down here. They took uh, the kingdom of Mesopotamia. So good for them. I'm sure they're only going to grow from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People having babies, whatever. No, I don't want her. Go away. <laughs> Same prisoner offer every time. I don't want her. 
Great hunt. Yes, great hunt. Let's go. The, the sight hounds thirsted for blood this afternoon. And they brought us many hares. All right, hares. It's not exactly a stag, but whatever. More hares? Okay. Double the hares. Why not? Strong claim on Choritza. Oh, rebels. Chernigov, hello. Let's take him out. Give me some generals. Bingo, bango, mango. Oh, double revolt. Revolt in Sweden as well. Oh, okay. War disrupts the hunt. Well, we got a little more prestige out of it. Okay. What's up, peasants? You filthy rebels. Veliki Ustjug has converted. We just conquered that. We just conquered Veliki Ustjug, and it just con it converted right away. Wow. Good job, dude. That was the imbecile, too. The imbecile converted it. Amazing. Oh, come on now. Kill them all. Kill them all. No survivors. Stop letting them survive. Fuck. I tell you, don't survive. And they're like, no, we want to live. And I'm like, no, don't live. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that should do it. Go to prison, you son of a bitch. Execute them. Stupid peasant rabble. Peasants. Alright, just walk over there. Kill them all. Go this way. Break that betrothal. We'll go for uh, this guy. Done. There you go. So, regardless, we're at least going to get a, a marriage with them. My daughter needs some tutoring. Well, who would like to tutor my daughter? Look at all these people that don't like us. And like, eh, eh, eh. You're a bad man, a very, very bad man. Russian Slav. There you go. You got it. Why you no babies? Come on, we're lovers. Ah, oh, make babies. Make genius. Is that so difficult? Make babies. Oh, finally, we got our preggers. Oh, that did take some time. Come on now. Charitable. Yeah, give me charitable. Thank you. Hmm. Ross Slavl has converted to Slavic. Fantastic. Now what about the stupid leaders of the of the temples? in the holy sites. 
Yes, yes, kill them all. Oh, I imprisoned the leader. Lol. And come back to the capital. Good man. Alright, we're back at peace. That's just fantastic. But we're going to have to call this an episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Mighty Roos, stand strong. How far away from, uh, from uh, the Empire are we? We're at uh, 70%. So we need 47 out of 67. I don't know. Maybe 8 more provinces. It's just a few. It's not that many. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Stanislav. What a disappointment.